But let's keep on rolling and let's get into the meat and potatoes of E3. And that is the video games, of course. And so there's a lot of them. And we're going to talk about some of them. Because the tech's worthless unless you have great games to go with it. I'm sorry, guys. I mean, there's no point in having a system unless unless you have the great games. So let's start it off. And all the big guys have gone. I believe maybe Nintendo's keynote is still to come. But most of the guys. I'm not even sure they're doing a keynote. Maybe they're just filtering things out piece by piece. They've done that before. They're just like, yeah, we'll kind of show D3. Yeah, so so, uh, let's start off with... um, it's kind of in order of what I saw. So let's just go that way. So we'll start off with Bethesda. They had their big conference, their first ever E3 conference last night, um, Sunday night. And they announced a couple games. Uh, number one, they uh, announced a Dishonored 2, which was a pretty mm. cool game. I did get it. I wasn't a huge fan of it. It was fun. You mean it's Dishonored 1? You, you're talking about you huh? had? You're talking about you had Dishonored 1? Yeah, did I say? Yeah, Dishonored 1. I played Dishonored 1. Yeah. It was very unique. I just wasn't the biggest fan of that game. It had some really cool ideas to it. I just couldn't get into it. Now, I, I think I'm in the minority on that one. A lot of yeah, people I know a lot really, 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 really like that game. Huh? And, yeah, I know a lot of people really love that game, but I also hear not a lot of people played it, so you can usually find it pretty cheap right now. Yeah, and like I said, I, I, I got it. I was a fan of it. I just, mm, you know, I didn't quite didn't quite get immersed in it as i've heard a lot of people did so that was one um now we all know bethesda has acquired id software so there's going to be another doom coming out and they showed off a lot about the multiplayer and everything like that and you know you can never have enough doom games i guess (laughs) when was the last time doom came out doom came out i want to say like six years ago doom four I think it was. Really? Or was it that, I feel like that must have been just like overlooked because I don't even remember anything uh, about Doom 4. Yeah, I don't um, really remember much about it either. So maybe this was a good thing because I in, the last time Bethesda took over someone else's project like that, they made Fallout 3. So, Well, go ahead and ruin what I was going to say next. About how the last time they did that, they made Fallout 3, so it's going to be a great match. <laughs> well, now we have Fallout 4 coming out, and they showed off a lot of gameplay and a lot of stuff with Fallout 4, and it looks amazing. I mean, just awesome. It looks like they took everything they learned from Skyrim, all the great things, the you know, the modifications, you know, you're doing your own building, you're crafting gear, you're doing stuff, and they threw that into a Fallout game. So you're building your own guns, you're crafting your own space, you're building your own house, all this really, really fun stuff. But it's this time it's set in Boston. And it's really interesting because uh, the story kind of centers around your character and the way you create your own character is, is very dramatically different. It's not like you have presets anymore and you can make it a little bigger or a little smaller by sliding it. But like you can go in there and drag and move. And it was a really, really cool way to show off how you create your own character. Mm. And so it's before you know all the nuclear explosions go off. And you're running to a vault. Nuclear explosion goes off. You get into the vault. 200 years later, you pop back up. Uh, and uh, they didn't. They skipped a lot of that. Be- I bet you there's some story in the vault and everything like that. But somehow, 200 years goes by, and you come back out through the vault. And you're in yeah. Boston, and it's free roam territory. Uh, you're sole survivor. Be- yeah. yeah. Well, there's other people and stuff, of course. Like they're, they're- sole survivor of the vault. That vault. Yeah, that vault. And and. Yeah. They, they showed a dog already. You're going to have a dog companion. And it looks like he does some pretty cool stuff. They showed off how you can command him to go pick up something and him fighting with you and everything like that. So they're, they, it really looks like they're building on each game. And it's it's great to see a, a developer see, hey, this is what we do good. This is what our fans say we need next. Let's try to integrate that some way in there. And they are probably and the was, best company. Yeah, and I was wondering what they were going to do with the storyline because there's, you know, they keep having to rehash in different ways the child of the vault emerging from the vault and having to go mm-hmm. out. And this is an interesting thing that they're trying to wedge in there of someone that's actually experienced life before the vault, before mm-hmm. the the nuclear uh, age, now coming to see things in the in the wasteland, um, which there's not been any kind of perspective like that before because by the time everyone gets out, everyone's been dead, right? Yeah, Except so for, no. generations go by, right? So it, it's just really cool. So that's Fallout 4. Um, then let's get into some of the things announced uh, during Microsoft's uh, press conference. One really cool game package that I saw that almost makes me wish I had a, an Xbox One was the Rare Replay 
game packages are giving you 30 rare games. Noticeably absent was GoldenEye, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Uh, but they you probably get, didn't have Donkey Kong either. Yeah, they didn't have Donkey Kong either, you're right. Um, but you have Battletoads, two Battletoads game, a Killer Instinct game, a couple Banjo-Kazooie games. Oh, Jet they actually Force, put those in. I didn't notice that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Perfect Dark, Perfect Dark Zero, Conker's Bad Fur Day, uh, Viva Pinata, a lot of really fun games. And they had a whole bunch of other. I mean, there's 30 of them. I didn't realize Rare had been a studio since like 1982, so they have mm-hmm. a lot of games. Almost their entire a lot of them catalog were uh, exclusive to Nintendo for a long time because they were. It seemed like they were kind of owned by Nintendo, weren't they? Well, Conker's or, Fur- Bad Fur Day was an exclusive to uh, 64, and yeah. so it's interesting. And so was Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie and all mm-hmm. those. So that's interesting that they're going to be coming to Microsoft. I mean, Rare made Microsoft. first party Nintendo games for a while, so they yeah, made and I'm, Kong 64. I'm still curious how they Country. can't get Goldeneye out there again, but that's neither here or there. There's too many. You know what I've issues. heard about that one? Goldeneye is in a weird position for years. They haven't been able to like re-release it because there's been this weird legal battle where no one wants to fess up to owning it. Because <laughs> owning it means they have to pay all these royalties. Well, and <laughs> so no one's really claimed, uh, officially settled who owns what of it. So I guess they're, they're just leaving that, that legal battle where it is. Yeah, so, hey, what can you do with that? Um, then there was some, also some interesting... Now, each console is going to console is gonna have its exclusives. That's, that's a given. But uh, some of the exclusives Microsoft has... So f- when you get Fallout 4, you actually get a copy, a full game of Fallout 3 with it. Uh, when you get Rainbow Six Siege, you get Rainbow Six Vegas 1 and 2 with it. So I thought that was a pretty interesting they get in these packages of these new games that will be coming out on both consoles but you'll get, be getting a little bit of exclusive here or there. So there's going to be some interesting things there. Um, I think they, they also mentioned with Fallout 4, at least with uh, Xbox and uh, probably with Windows too, but they were saying that you would also uh, be able to use the Pip-Boy on your phone while you're playing the game. Uh, that's an iPhone thing. Was it? Yeah. Because they were cool. saying at the Xbox at the while they were talking with Microsoft. And what is it? It's like on get, the like, iPhone, but it links up with the game. Too. Like if you if you pre-order like the super exclusive edition, you actually get a, a real Pip Boy too. Mm. So I'm, cool. I don't know who needs one, but <laughs> okay, you know it's that there. guy. Yeah, that guy likes it. Um, another Xbox exclusive is going to be Rise of the Tomb Raider. Uh, they've kind of revamped the Tomb Raider series. I kind of see this as the female version of Uncharted, which is not a bad thing. <laughs> but you know, it's, because if Tomb Raider's been around so much longer, it's, yeah. It's but the, when they redid more, the though. last one. They redid the last one. It looked a lot like Uncharted, and this one looks a lot like it, too. Just the feel of it feels like Uncharted, so mm. that's kind of where they're going with that. But it, it should be a cool game. I've never been a big fan of the Tomb Raider game, so... Uh, now, do you uh, think that the, it's actually going to stay an exclusive for Xbox? I mean, this is Tomb Raider we're talking about, or might they do like they've done previously, and it'll be exclusive for a year? Well, I mean, I've heard this isn't the first time I've heard of the t- Rise of a Tomb Raider, and they've always been talking about how it's going to be an Xbox exclusive, so... Mm. It might stay an exclusive at least for a couple of years. Kind of like Mass Effect was an Xbox exclusive, well, at least the first one, for at least like two, three years almost. Mm. So we'll, we'll probably see something like that. Um, and then Gears of War 4 is going to be coming out. So they had some pretty interesting things coming out yeah. with that. They also re- announced that they're making a remake of the first Gears of War. So that's coming out as well. And that was, oh, that was the big... Yeah, remake of of Gears of War One and then Gears of War Four. So uh, that was the big stuff out of the Microsoft press conference. Thanks.